Hello, welcome to our Well Control 500 presentation. Well Control 500 is a multifunction tool for the welding operator to create automated multipass welds with Subarc. First, a quick overview of the different parts of the system. We have the control panel, a touchscreen interface to put all the settings into the system. We have a camera system to observe the welding, a manual removable physical tool to control the, the welding head, start the process and control the movements of the welding head. In the welding head, we have the camera, laser tracking, long stick out torches, and then the servo, servo controlled movements, which are controlled automatically from the Well Control 500. Okay, let's take a quick overview of the Well Control 500 touchscreen interface. On the left side, I have tabs for different pages. And this is now the first page where you select the work cycle. And you can have different presets, which gives all the options and settings for the, for the other pages. For example, now I, now I have chosen a circumferential weld. Here I can set uh, the workpiece name, give it an identification number. And for example, if it's a round object, I can tell the diameter so the system knows when one welding circle is done and it will automatically change to the next pass. Other options would be, for example, a straight weld where we can have an automated work cycle so that the system welds one weld and retracts automatically uh, to the next uh, start position. Second page is the operator view where we can monitor the welding process while the machine is running. You have the two power sources visible here. Then when we have the tiltable welding head, you can see the tilt angle. Then, because it's a multi-pass weld at the moment, we can see the pass that the, the machine is on and we can change the pass manually or automatically from the system. We can also observe the joint and the laser tracking. Uh, it's a live, live illustration of the laser tracker in the bevel. In this screen also the operator has some small adjustable values for the current, the voltage and the welding speed, for example. Next is basically the welding engineers page, where we can create different parameter sets for the system. This page can be password protected, so the operator cannot access and change the values. Uh, here, for example, I can show the list of the different parameter sets we have made for this test weld. Also, the multi-layer function is handled from this page. On the next page, the operator can set the start and stop values and the parameters uh, for each torch. On the next page, we have the data collection system. For example, we have the usage meters for the, for the machine and the hardware, where we can see the running hours, the arc on times, so it's easy, easy to observe the machine usage. These can also be accessed via a local network from an office, for example. Then, the second page, we have the weld piece data. So we collect all the data for different welds. So it's easy to track the weld parameters based on the name of the workpiece. Next menu is the alert system, where we can see a history of the message, uh, messages and the active messages. For example, at the moment I can see the, that fl the flux level is low and it can be seen also in the bottom bar. Next page, next page on the list is the automated work cycle list, which can be used for example longitudinal welding. There the machine observes the list and jumps to the next phase after one phase is done. For example, when the welding is done, it automatically retracts to the new start position. Then the last page is the settings page, where we can change the language, uh, use additional tools, enter the service mode and uh, calibrate the tilting head, for example. Okay, let's jump back to the first page and now I'll show the physical control. With this, the operator can, for example, start and stop the welding and control the movements of the system. 
and different parts of the system. Now I've chosen to control, for example, the height of the boom and the push and pull of, of the boom. With the joystick, the operator can move the system and select the speed from this potentiometer. Different options for controlling is, for example, the rotation of the column and boom and a rotation of an external rotator. All right, this was the quick overview of the Well Control 500 system, and we are happy to give a deeper introduction to you. Please contact us.